This AQ! AQ! And the baby's coming out. Fellas, again, focusing yourself. That's what it is. You said no. What are you doing? You think I'm not going well today, huh? No, no. Wow, son. The disrespect, though. Hold on, man. Let's watch this one more time. This is kind of crazy. She was. <gasps> she got startled. Damn, son. Nah, this is crazy. Yo. This is wild, bro. Why she do the man like that? Wow. At that point, bro. Just walk away, fam. And don't look back. The level of rejection is just crazy. She don't even she don't even want to lie to you. She don't even want to say no. She was like, Ugh, what you doing? Like never in a million years. I'll marry you. Damn, son. This is just wild right here, boy. Damn, she just broke this man heart though. Look at the little laugh after. Look at his laugh. He didn't even know what to do. Wow. He... Damn, son. Damn, and then she gonna look at him in his face and smile after she did that. Yo, this is crazy, bro. He got the dogs up there and everything, you know what I'm saying? He, he, he probably planned this shit, like, all week. He put, man, I'm going to take up in the hills, like, with the dogs and propose to her. And this is how it went. This is crazy, bro. Damn. Look, fellas, this is actually a good thing, right? Because... Now he knows that this chick is just wasting his time. She's just not the one for him. And a, a lot of times, fellas, it's better, it's better to find out like this rather to have her lie to you and you propose to her, you all get married, only to find out uh, five, ten years from now, she divorced you and take half your money because she never really wanted to be with you in the first place. So, it is what it is, man, but in a situation like this, man, just walk away and focus on yourself, bro. You know what I'm saying? But just make sure you break up with her, because if you propose to, to a woman and she rejects you like this, you will be a fool if you stay with her. This is just crazy. <laughs> and at that point, man, she can't hold my hand. Hey, bitch, let go of my hand, bitch. The fuck? <laughs> you said no. What are you doing? <laughs> damn, son. Wow, son. He's shocked. Like, damn. After I spent all this time with this bitch, all this money I spent on this bitch, whole time this bitch... Don't want me? I told you all, man, women are good actors, bro. A woman will act like she is in love with you just to get what she wants from you. So let's say if a woman is with you for your money or whatever, whatever, she will play the role of a virtuous woman so good just to get what she wants. And that's why I tell you all the time, fam. Never pay attention to her words. Always pay attention to her actions because her actions will show you how she feels about you.
This is just crazy. Right here, be trying to smash on my baby mom. He been her face and he ain't got that thing. <laughs> hey, uh, you try to smash, ain't you? <laughs> Every time I look around, you and my baby mama face, you try to mess up that, ain't you? <laughs> nah, I bet you did. I bet you did. <laughs> wow, this right here is crazy. I mean, like, I hate to say it. He already smashed your baby mom's dog. But you the last person to know. Very sad situation. Fellas, I tell you dudes all the time, you gotta pay attention to the signs. This is how you can tell his baby mama already smashing dude. Notice when she walked to the car, she act like she ain't fucking with him. Watch this. Right here be trying to smash on my baby mommy. See that right there? Get away from me. Get away from me. Like my... Dude, is right here, dude. Chill. <laughs> you trying to get me busted. You see what I'm saying? That's the reason why she's doing that. But it's too late, bro. As a man, if you're in a situation like this, just know it's over. I ain't gonna hold you. And there's nothing that you could do <laughs> to stop this. And guess what's gonna happen? More and more, she probably gonna start talking about dude. And before you know it, you're gonna start feeling insecure about dude, right? And then you're gonna start showing it. And then what she's gonna do, she's, she's gonna say, yo, stop acting insecure. Nothing is going on. Just look at this. This is crazy. He did her face. He ain't got damn thing. <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> You try to smash, ain't you? <laughs> Every time I look around, you and my best mama face, you try to... Yeah, like, you see that smile right there, fam? <laughs> the dude was cracking up. Buddy was cracking up. He was cracking up like, oh, shit. That's your nigga. My bad, I don't know. That's that laugh. He was laughing at him. Like, that's that nigga? Hey, uh, <laughs> Watch you try this. To smash, ain't <laughs> Watch you? this. <laughs> Every time I Dude is man. really cracking up. He is really cracking up. Damn, son. Yeah, my best mama face. You try to mess up He's laughing because he's like, look at this nigga doing some sucker ass shit. Why is you recording me, bro? Why? You know what's going on. You can see it all in your baby mama face. <laughs> look at that face right there. What does that face tell you, man? She be sucking mad dinner at work. He smashing up every time she go on break. It's straight head action. Don't. Don't. That's what she doing at work. She come home. She coming home with that dick breath, bro. Facts. Look at this, fam. Like, you could just look at their chemistry and you could be able to... You, sh you should be able to tell, but some dudes just don't see the signs. If your girl walks up with a, with a dude from her job to your car. This is just crazy. Man. Got a smash on my baby mom. He been her face. He ain't got damn thing. Every guy. And what does that tell you, bro? It's like, open your eyes. You think he ain't crack? Man, some dudes be so lost, bro. <laughs> hey, uh, you try to smash, ain't you? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he asked the man if he trying to smash. Wow, some fellas never do no sucker shit like that, bro. Never do no sucker shit like that. It is what it is, man. Fellas, you know, like I always tell you dudes, man, look. Pay attention to the signs, bro. If your girlfriend mentions another dude named from work, it's a wrap. Now, this is mad disrespectful because the nigga walked her to the car. Like, man, fuck that nigga. Man, look, it is what it is, man. What's up? That's why you've been lying to me for 11 years, telling me that DJ is my real son. Why you been lying to me? What have they lying about? I got a DNA test done. 
A DNA saying what? Saying that he's not my son. Let me see the DNA test. You don't need to see it. I saw it. How DNA test gonna say How that? How you gonna be lying to me for 11 years? Why would you do that to me? Who? Well, where's the lie? The I lie is you. DNA you are the lie. You have been lying to me for 11 years. Having me believe that my son that I've been raising for 11 years is not really my son. Like, how could you do that to me? Like, what What can you say for yourself right now? What made you get a DNA test? Because I went through your phone. Talking about me, laughing and bragging, telling your friends that I have no idea that he's really not my son. So I want to get a DNA test done. Like, you think I'm stupid or something? Like, how could you do this to me? You know what? What? Can I have my business going through my phone and get You care DNA more about me going son. through your phone than you lying to me about some, my son I not being mine? Are you kidding me right now? Lie. Are you kidding me right now? You care more about being humiliated and me finding out that, that our son is not really my son and that he has a different father. I sure have because I thought he was my son because you've been lying to me this whole time. What are you talking about? Does yeah. it matter? It does, does matter. matter. Are you it crazy? Matters. What do you mean? It absolutely matters. Like, you don't see anything wrong with what you did? Matter. You don't see anything wrong with what you did? You've been lying to me? You've been sitting here lying to me for a for a lesson? Of course I love him, but, I can't, but you guys can't stay. You can't stay here anymore. Damn. Where are we going to go? I don't know. It's not my problem. 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 You can't stay here. You can't stay here. You can't stay here. You can, I don't know. It's not my problem. I did my you job. I did my crazy. job. I did my job as a dad. I did my job as a dad. You can't stay here anymore. Y'all gotta go. Both y'all can't years. stay anymore. No, I'm hurt. I'm hurt. I can't deal with it. I can't deal with it. Y'all can't stay here anymore. Y'all gotta go. Y'all gotta get y'all house. Y'all gotta go. I can't deal with it. I'm putting y'all out. Yes. Who's gonna put I'm gonna put you out. I'm, I'm gonna put you out. I'm gonna. I will pack your bags myself and put you out of here. I will pack your ass. Y'all can't stay here. You gotta go. You got. You lied to me. You lied to me. You lied to me for eleven years. For eleven years straight. You lied to me. See, this is why DNA tests should be mandatory at birth. It's. Very sad that this man have to go through this, right? And in situations like this, there's no justice. A man just have to chalk it up and move on with his life. He believed a child was his for 11 years. Think about the connection that he have with that child, only to find out that a woman lied to him and pretty much pinned a baby on him. That's just, come on, bro. Now, in a situation like this, this could cause a man to self-destruct. It takes a strong man to sit there and remain calm while she's trying to gaslight. She's more focused on the fact that he went through her phone and found out that she was cheating and found, and found out that she was bragging about it to her friends. The audacity. And then she expect this man to still allow her and another man kid to live with him. The audacity. That's just crazy, bro. But this is why as a man, you got to pay attention, fam, because this is what happens when a woman don't respect you. And she look at you and say, yo, he's a nice guy. He going to be a good father. So I'm going to pin the baby on him. And whole time, she knew exactly who the child father is all along. But what, what be so crazy about these type of situations? Some women don't even care about the child. They don't care that the child should know who the real father is. Forget, dude. What about your child? You see what I'm saying? But, fellas, y'all got to understand, man. Some women could be very evil. It is what it is, man. And that's what I tell you all the time, bro. Pay attention to the signs. Observe your girl. If you have any doubts about your child, if you watching this right now, a man, take a close look at your child. And if you see any thing that might make you doubt that that, that that child is yours, man, get a DNA test right away, bro. Look at your child right now. And if you have any doubts, get it right now. Because the sooner, because the sooner you find out, the better 
you gonna be because it takes time to get over this some men never get over uh, situations like this and there's a lot of brothers out here who are raising kids that are not theirs sad situation man this is just sad fellas man focus on yourselves out here you'll see man these women are grimy they are dirty they are low down and i'm not saying all women i'm saying a lot of women i'm out don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel peace